treatment triangle. And it's that, you know, with any imbalance you have, there's always an energetic imbalance. Okay, so that's like in the chakra system, the meridians, the auras, the nadis, the figure eights, all these energetic systems, the meridians that, that we work with. Um, also, there's can be a manifestation of this in the anatomy and physiology. This imbalance affects the anatomy and physiology in some way. And also, we ha I work on the principle that you know you have an energetic balance, a physiological imbalance, but also you have like a psychological imbalance, and that's the mental, emotional, behavioural. Um, aspects of any imbalance you know, that sort of goes along with it. So from that, though, within the, especially in the physiology, well, I suppose in all parts, is the basic thing that we're using, well, there's two things really. There's the hologram from Richard R. and formatting, which again was developed by Richard R. And so I tend to work a lot with formatting, and a lot of the things I've developed uh, uh, is a lot of formatting. Um, and to me that works, you know, because when you're using formatting, you're using mudras, which is like from the Indian system. Mudra means uh, attitude, which means body position. So it's like when you hold a mudra, it's like you're doing a yoga posture. So when you hold mudras, you affect the nadi and chakra flow, and that's definitely what the Indian philosophy talks about. Um, also, the... Um, we use the acupressure system as well, and, and so we use working with the meridians and the mudras to assess states of stress in different parts of anatomy and physiology, and that's the idea behind formatting. And so Richard started that with the, his course Applied Physiology in the Brain, and um, and then he went on to do the hologram. And so what I've done is take this idea of the hologram and formatting, and I actually combined them to do holograms on formats. And so I've developed large systems of formatting in different areas, you know, like in the endocrine system, in the nervous system, like I extended the nervous system formatting, I, um, the biochemical, the nutritional, the immune system, are just examples of that. And so that's the basic idea, is that we can look at something and say, well, there's a problem in the immune system, we do some immune formatting, balance some chakras, and it has a very strong effect on the immune system when you do that. Okay. So, which is the main difference between your kinesiologic e system and others? Well, I invented mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why didn't you invent the others? Well, I think... Um, other, I mean, you know, to compare something, you'd have to know the other systems well. Um, you know, my system is definitely an extension of applied physiology. Richard recognises that, and he mentions it on his website. Um, applied physiology and the other things that have come from applied physiology, like the LEAP program, like SIPs from Ann Stubbings, um, and, of course my stuff as well, um, we all have like a solid, you know, there's all an essence of formatting, hologram, physiology, that's, you know, you know it's really is a physiology based system. Um, comparing that to other systems, I mean, I don't know a lot too much, I know when I studied, you know, I studied a little bit of PKP and a little bit of 3-in-1, so I know a little bit about them. Um, but I wouldn't be able to, you know, with authority say what is actually going, you know, what their characteristics are, mm. but I can just say what we do, and um, that's what we do, you know. Okay, so, so what application is your system, narrow system, kinesiology, especially good for there are special indications or well, it's um, good for, well, it's good for most things, actually. Um, any kind of behavioural problems, psychology, 
the psychology, we really, I really look at the chakra system and the neural emotional pathways. Really does a lot to help explain the behaviour and also do something about it. You know, release the stress so it can depart. If there's a, you know, a problem with the behaviour or some behaviour pattern that you're adopting, that you can actually resolve it and release it. Um, the, also, I have an immune course, which is good for the immune system. It's had good results. I get good feedback from that. Um, same with the endocrine system. I have a hormone course. And that's good. And we also have um, immune, endocrine, nervous system, um, primitive reflexes. I have a course on the primitive reflexes, and that's effective too. It's had good results. Um, so, you know, generally we can work with most things. Um, nutrition as well, I have a nutrition course. Yeah. You know, so generally we're looking at the whole physiological makeup. You know, if there's an immune course problem, well, we've got a precise system to work with that. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you, Ken, what do you think about the relationship of other metals like bioenergetic, bad guys, heat? Chiropractic, osteopathy, or anything or others? Look, you know, they're all, those systems all are very strong. They, you know, to me, I don't know much about them. I've seen a bit of rolfing. Um, I know what kinesiology came from chiropractic. Um, but the thing is, for me, what I notice is, is that they grow. More, there's a lot of people around the world performing these therapies. That means people are surviving by teaching it and practicing it, mm. and they can only survive doing that if they're getting results. That's true. And so that means they must get results. And and I know that you know I know from my experience that you know someone might have a problem, and my system might be perfect for it. But then the next person it mightn't be, but someone else might have some work that's good for them. Mm. So it's really hard you, in this kind of work. You can't say. For this precise problem, this is always going to solve it. It doesn't work like that in what we do. Um, so, you know, like, I, I just have respect for, for other methods and um, other modalities because, you know, they're, they're methods and modalities that are designed to help people. And, you know, after all, in, in, in the profession we're in, at the bottom line is we're here to benefit the clients. And as soon as you forget that, you're wrong. And so, you know, like I just have respect for all other methods and, um, and I travel around the world just doing my thing and living my life and, you know, and good luck to anyone who gets healing from another method, I'm happy for. Yeah. yeah. So, Eleven, how would you describe the effect of kinesiology? How would I describe the effect of kinesiology? Well, I think it's profound. Because, you know, when you sit back and think and you look at it with a rational mind and say, well, all we're doing is touching a few points, holding a few mudras, balancing a few chakras, and uh, we're completely changing people's lives. You know, you look at that with a rational mind and think, well, that looks a bit weird. But when you consistently, you know, I've been doing travelling around the world for a number of years now, and I consistently, the people I teach, get getting the same results. And, you know, it's really, you know, benefits a lot the clients. I mean, all you can say, it's profound because you're changing people's lives. And um, if we're changing people's lives and helping them get over their problems, we're making the world a better place. So I think that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, Twelve. Which part should kinesiology play within psychology? Therapies. Where do I see psychology and kinesiology? I think they're made to go together. You know, you know, psychology and psychotherapy is has a place. You know, I'd like to see psychology and kinesiology to come together because they have methods for understanding people's problems. We have methods for speeding up the resolution of these problems. If we could work together it would be a synergistic effect because remember the psychologists have clients, patients, whatever you want to call them, 
and we have clients and we're just trying to help people solve their problems. You know, we're trying to do the same thing. So I think kinesiology and psychology is made to go hand in hand. Mm. Whether that happens is another thing. But, you know, I've had a few psychologists come through my classes and, you know, I have a few that actually have done a lot of training with me too and they use it in their work and they, you know, they're very happy with the results because they can, you know, they can help their clients get better quicker. So, which part does uh, 13, which part, again, 13, which part does psychology play within the kinesiology systems? Well, I think psychology is important. As, as I mentioned earlier with the triangle, it's, to me, psychology is one of the three things you're looking at, yeah. you know, um, with an imbalance, because with psychology, you're looking at the, the emotions, the, the mental process, and all the behaviour archetypes that people are adopting, and that's important because you know when you look at someone and they, you know, they might be, for instance, going through relationship after relationship, never having a happy relationship. Why do they keep doing the same mistake? Why are they behaving like that? You know, and so it's important to understand that, and it's important for the person to understand. I am doing a repeat pattern. And if they don't realise it, they just keep doing it. And they're not happy. You know? And so I think it's really important. And I think kinesiologists should have a good training in psychological, you know, that the psychology should be an important part of the kinesiology training. You know, because you do need to understand about behaviour. Okay. Good. Next question. Is there any anecdotal or funny story you would